it's almost game day here at USC. Well, sort of. <laughs> this Saturday, Trojan fans will get a little taste of what to expect next season as USC hosts their annual spring game at the Memorial Coliseum on Saturday. I'm joined now by Alexa Palermo to talk my, well, our favorite subject, Definitely. football. Thank you so much for joining me Thanks today. Thanks for having me. All right, it seems like just yesterday to me that we were on the desk with Connor yes. kind of picking our predictions for standout spring ball players, but it's been four weeks of spring ball. Have those standouts changed for you? Yes, I'm actually going to take your breakout player and make it my <laughs> standout player this spring, Michael Pittman. Yes. He has really come into his own this spring, and we've really seen him do great things in red zone drills and third down drills, um, and offensive coordinator T. Martin actually mentioned that about him. I spoke with him a little earlier in spring ball, and he's excited to be taking those first team reps, but knows that the wide receiver core is very talented, very although deep. it is young. Mm -hmm. um, he's very excited to have that competition because it's pushing him to become better. Yeah, I definitely agree. He's going to be one that feeds on that competition. But you and I aren't the only one giving him high praises. Head coach Clay Heldon also spoke about Pittman at yesterday's practice. And has had a great spring. He's made some big plays, made big play, a couple big plays for us in the scrimmage on Saturday. So um, can see his confidence rising, can see his execution rising. So we're counting on him next year to execute. Yeah, we'll definitely have to see how Pittman develops later. But there's two other standouts on the board yes. right now. You want to talk to me about them? Tyler Vaughn's. Newcomer, very talented. Mm -hmm. Helton actually compared him to Adore Jackson, which I think is the utmost compliment for a football player. <laughs> yes, um, I definitely agree. Exactly. So he is a very fast wide receiver, and depending on how he can do um, against all of these other people, which we'll get into those battles later, mm -hmm. he um, can definitely see some playing time. Yeah. Um, arguably my favorite, Ala Wale. <laughs> He's amazing. He, I don't know if you know, but he's been playing football for two years now. Incredible. And he is uh, about to start on the USC football team. Like, it's <laughs> kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah. Um, Helton kind of mentioned that he was a little behind in the football knowledge, um, and he's really been spending a lot of time in the film room trying to understand more of the X's and O's and specific things that a player would need to know, and Helton's really praised him on being able to do that. So I think that that knowledge is going to help him propel him to do great things. I saw him in the Coliseum last week, and he really dominated. So he's definitely going to be a weapon on the defense and scare those offenses off the field. Oh, yeah, and I know Coach Nansen does this thing called line, uh, Linebacker 101, so they go to that. They watch film all the time. So I think that would be something that's hugely helpful for someone like Ola Wale who does not know the game that well, but exactly. is just a physical presence on the mm -hmm. field. Always been athletic, so. Yeah. Great. But these two right here, I know they're locked in a position battle that we're yes. going to get to. USC lost their star wide receivers, Juju Smith-Schuster and Darius Rogers, to the draft and have a ton of uh, wide receivers. They're very deep in this position, mm -hmm. but it's going to be a battle for that starting spot. Exactly. Uh, we put Deontay Burnett over here as a likely starter mm -hmm. because of his amazing performance uh, against Penn State in the Rose Bowl. He really came into his own in that, and I think it's safe to say that he is a likely starter Locked in, yeah. um, as well as Jalen Green. He's very talented, but I think we could make an argument for Michael Pittman taking that likely starter position mm -hmm. because of the way he is after he catches. He's a very physical presence and he could take that juju um, kind of position where he's physical after the catch. Yeah. Um, but also the three of these guys uh, are very great and so as they're young so you could see that maybe where the leader starts to um, come out and what the other guys look to that could be a reason as well as their talent to getting that starting position. And well the good thing for all of these guys is that quarterback Sam Darnold I don't think he's going to be that type of one receiver kind of quarterback so even if they don't get the starting role they'll all see playing time and get that ball in their hands. Exactly I think that's one of the greatest things about Sam Darnold is that he doesn't have a favorite and everyone can see a lot of playing time and a lot of catches which also makes him it's hard to guard for other defenses because there's so many talented people. All right and another position group that will definitely be a toss-up uh, coming out of spring ball and into mm -hmm. fall ball the offensive line position USC lost Banner, uh, Bama and Wheeler three of their starting O-line uh, members so I you know, I'm going to let you take this one because I'm yeah. as confused as anyone. <laughs> it's it's confusing. Yeah. Um, they're, the injuries are kind of what makes it the most confusing. So, Toa Lobadon is still recovering from his ACL injury from last season, so we haven't seen him in any team drills this spring. Uh, Vianney Talamevau got hurt this spring, and after that, Helton emphasized the fact that he wanted all of his linemen to be able to try different positions. And so I think that's where we saw Nico Fala trying it out as guard. Nico took over for uh, Toa back when he got hurt at center. And so I think the fact that Nico's testing guard is making way for Toa to come back at center. But Chris Brown, Roy Hemsley, and Clayton Johnson all can see some great playing time, but they do have 
um, to have the ability to be able to rotate and fit wherever Helton needs them to create that starting five. So definitely rotation and flexibility will exactly. be the two themes mm -hmm. of the line. Well, thank you so much for joining me and chatting some football, course, our favorite. It. Yeah, <laughs> But we will definitely have to wait and see how these two position battles, as well as a slew of others, unfold in their practice tomorrow and well into fall ball next season. But for all the USC fans out there like us two that are longing for the return of game days, you can catch your own spring standouts at the spring game this weekend.